Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Viva Mondo's webinar. Today we are traveling all the way to South Africa um, with the lovely Stone, who will be here from Central University of Technology. He will be here to tell you all about why you should study in South Africa and how you can study in South Africa. Now, a little bit about me. Um, we're from Viva Mondo, as you know. Uh, we are here to help you with every step of the way of your study or journey abroad uh, with any information, visa information, passport information, anything to do with study abroad. That's what we are here to help you with. Um, now today we are obviously going to be saying yes to questions. Please do ask questions throughout the whole webinar. We really do encourage it. Um, and we ask you to ask the questions in the Q&A box just at the bottom of your screen and we will get to those right at the end um, with all of the questions live. Um, so now I will be handing you over to Stone. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Steve, uh, for the warm welcome and uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it is a great pleasure hosting you uh, from the warm Bloemfontein, South Africa. And I would like to commend you by joining this uh, webinar in the middle of the pandemic that we are currently battling with. It takes a great resilience. And I would like to admire you for your efforts and commitment to join um, this webinar. You joining this webinar, it gives me also a privilege to call you prospective uh, CUT international uh, uh, students. And I believe by the end of the session, you would uh, be ready to send your applications as CUT. And also, we are looking forward to support you and receive your applications. And definitely, we promise our great support throughout your studies at uh, CUT. But then one would ask, why should you come and study in South Africa? South Africa is one of the best countries in Africa to study abroad. This is a home of the world universities that offer quality education and also multicultural hubs uh, when it comes to your education, social, and also civic life. It offers international students and a great opportunity to explore a country with a, with a rich cultural diversity and also one of the uh, how we call ourselves, we call ourselves a rainbow nation because we have a rich cultural diversity. And also we host uh, 11 official languages in South Africa. So you can imagine a country that hosts 11 official languages, how diverse it is. So this gives you an opportunity to study in one of the Africa success, successful country with the best economy and also the great love to host uh, anybody from anywhere. So also <laughs> studying in South Africa, it gives you a better opportunity when it comes to you paying your fees uh, in South Africa, because it gives you favorable financial incentives. And I can say the tuition and also the cost of living stay in South Africa, it's quite affordable from anyone from all walks of life. So studying to South Africa gives you a better opportunity to pursue your studies and also to improve your standard of living in a country that gives a rich cultural diversity. But then why study at CUT, as the Central University of Technology in South Africa? It's a university that is accredited by higher education, the Department of Higher Education and Training in South Africa, and also is a member of University of South Africa, and also a member of International Education Association of South Africa. This university has got a strong uh, leadership with innovative and professional staff members that are student focused, meaning that our lectures are able to assist our students from the time that they arrive as CUT and also by the time that they have to leave the institution. So this is a kind of support that we give our international students and also our, our students at large. The university has got two campuses, one in our Bloemfontein campus, which uh, uh, locally is known as the City of Roses. Uh, this is a, a one of the cities that are centrally situated in South Africa. And also one of our campuses is, uh, one of our campuses in Vacom, which is uh, a mining area where you would get uh, quite a lot of uh, mines around the goldfield area. So in, in, in total, we host over 21,000 uh, students, which over 400 would be our 
our international international students. So these are the students that are ready to partner with CUT to acquire their qualification and also gain appropriate work integrated learning to equip them uh, to be prepared for the the professional uh, practice. So one of the things that I can say about CUT is one of the leading university of technology in South Africa. And we've got quite a lot of uh, qualifications that one can acquire in this uh, amazing university. We have got four faculties which host uh, around 22 departments. And one of the faculties is engineering and also built environment and information technology. We also have the health and science, uh, health and environmental science faculty, and also um, your humanities and management science. And when you look at our engineering and uh, built environment and information technology department, we have uh, a faculty, we have quite, uh, quite a lot of uh, different uh, departments, your built environment department. This is where you get qualifications like your construction, health and safety, quantity survey. And also when you look at under civil engineering, you get your civil engineering qualifications. Under computer and information technology, you do your your, 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 your IT related qualifications, your computer networks, and also under mechanical, these are mechanical and uh, mechatronics, related qualifications. And we also strong in health and environmental sciences and the different departments that we have, which are four departments. And our uh, agricultural department, you get uh, agriculture related qualifications. And also under clinical science, you get your, your, your radio radiology. And also health sciences, you get uh, your, your, your your know, somatology and different uh, qualifications and the life science, get your environmental related uh, qualifications. We have got quite also a number of qualifications that you can get under our humanities department from your studio uh, and art qualification, uh, teacher education, and also language and social science uh, education. We're also more with our business related qualifications under our management science uh, uh, faculty which host uh, different uh, qualifications from your governance management, hospitality and tourism, and also accounting and audit leading you to more of business management uh, qualifications. I can say all these qualifications are internationally uh, recognized qualifications around uh, the world. And we offer uh, different uh, um, qualifications from your certificate, uh, diploma, advanced diplomas and also postgraduate diplomas uh, and also at honors level, uh, masters and doctoral degrees in order to increase our production of world class postgraduate programs and also high quality uh, uh, graduate as well. We are very strong in, in, in research and innovation because our institution aims to become a leading university of technology, shaping the future through innovation. And I can say CUT is in the forefront of research and innovation. And also we are very strong in uh, application and addictive application of addictive manufacturing for design and also production of customized uh, medical implants. The university has 10 research uh, centers, your center for rapid prototyping and also manufacturing, your center for applied food security and also biomedic, uh, biotechnology. We also have uh, 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 the center for sustainable smart cities where we are working on research and to ensure that at the end of the day we do have uh, uh, smart cities that are well developed uh, within our country and also our our region as um, as the country uh, moving forward you look at also where CUT stands in some of uh, its work we can say CUT is the first university in Africa to receive the ISO accreditation when it comes to uh, 3D printing. This also complements what the university's vision is, which is to become the leading university of uh, technology shaping the future through uh, innovation. So we also support our students. We don't only look at our students to come and study a CUT, but we also support them. And we have got different uh, programs that are part of the student support services where we have a wellness center. 
So this is a center that has got a proven success that is responsible from providing comprehensive uh, services like your health and psychological uh, counseling services and also academic uh, uh, academic support, reading development, and social uh, services. These are services that are provided by registered psychologists, and all this information that you'll be sharing remains confidential. So if you have any form of personal crisis, I can assure you that the Wellness Center is a center that is always available to assist you. So all the services are offered for free and to all our students that have enrolled at, at CUT. But then there's also a, a, a work integrated element that we offer to our students. We don't only expect our students to study uh, within the institution without having the practical side of, of what they have studied. So we have got the work integrated learning office that offers different uh, services to our students from negotiating uh, different placements uh, with different companies and also providing industry information, preparing our students for the world of work through information sessions that they offer and also assist with the development of different methods and processes for monitoring and our assisting or assessing our student performance. We don't only support our students through this uh, uh, work integrated learning services, but we also improve uh, in terms of uh, the database when it comes to uh, networking or engaging with different employers to ensure that our students are well placed in different uh, companies around the world. So you thinking of studying to South Africa and also thinking of CUT, you already know or you are assured that when it comes to you being um, ready for the workplace, CUT definitely will cater for that through the work integrated uh, and learning office. We also have a student life. Students can not only think of our studies, but they can also think, what can I do apart from my studies at CUT? Uh, CUT also has uh, different uh, sports codes that students can participate in. And I can say CUT has, has also hosted international heroes when it comes to sports. You can think of your Zolabat and who is a CUT alumni, but different sports codes that we offer from your athletics, netball, uh, basketball, and also cricket, soccer, golf, and hockey. These are the sports codes that each and every student, when they want to be part of, they definitely get Get their support from different um, personnel in the sports uh, management area, where we also uh, provide bursaries for the students that participate in league sports in the name of CUT. But also we have student organizations that also improve uh, the student readiness when it comes to entrepreneurship. We have a student organization called Inecta CUT. This is a student organization that promotes entrepreneurship in students throughout different universities, which promotes students to, um, to have an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial mindset and also improve the standard of living of different communities through entrepreneurial action. We also have a chess club where our students also get an opportunity to participate in different international chess uh, uh, championship. But then how do you apply at CUT, which is one of the key uh, areas that most of you definitely be looking at uh, through this presentation. And I can say that our 2022 applications, they are open. So, uh, each student who anyone who wants to apply at CUT, definitely they can start applying, which is free of charge, meaning that you're not going to pay for your applications to study at CUT. This is going to be done online. So what do you need to study or I mean to apply at CUT? You need a certified copy of your foreign uh, school living uh, and also your college or your university qualification. We also need you to have your, certi your certified copy of your SACA, uh, which is a, a, the South African uh, Qualification Authority that evaluates your qualification. So we expect you to have that uh, verified or evaluated certificate ready when you want to apply for your degree programs or also your postgraduate programs. And also we expect you to have your certified copy ready of your passport uh, 
And we can say that our applications, they would close on the 29th of October this year, and they are all done online. But what we do with our international student applications, we do have a support system that we have um, established where you start applying. We, we start also assisting you where you have some um, uh, challenges with your application or some inquiries that you'd like to direct that are related uh, to your 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 your, your, your application. I will share some contact uh, details that you can engage with us while you're busy with your application, where, uh, wherever you are facing some challenges or wherever you need some clarity when it comes to your, your, your application. And when it comes to also for uh, the, the, our postgraduate students, we also support them when it comes to the application uh, the applications at CUT. So you as a postgraduate student uh, looking to further your studies at CUT, it is very, very uh, crucial that you um, work on your, your, your SACA, evaluating your qualification to ensure that when the time that you apply a CUT is also ready. And you are more than welcome to contact us to assist you with any form of evaluation. It's either your, your school leaving certificate when you want to apply for our degree programs or when you apply for the postgraduate um, qualifications. So the student support uh, uh, office within our Center for Global Engagement, which is formerly known as the International Office, is mandated to provide you the support that you need uh, from the start of your application and also the time that you spent at CUT when um, you, are, you, are, you are furthering your studies and also any relevant uh, documents that you may need, the office is ready to support you with those kind of documentation. But then what does it cost or how much it costs you to study at CUT? We have got quite affordable tuition fee and also accommodation that we offer within the university. So we can look at around plus or minus 8,000 USD annually for our undergrad qualification. This is quite inclusive. We're looking at your tuition fee, accommodation, and also um, living expenses. And when it comes to postgraduate students, you're looking at around plus or minus 6,000 USD for our postgraduate uh, qualification. Also uh, inclusive. And the university offers accredited off campus and also on campus uh, uh, I mean um, accommodation so our off campus accommodation can be around uh, two to three kilometers away from the university which is also safe and also when we say accredited uh, student accommodation we talk about an accommodation that provides you full service and also also have um, uh, free Wi-Fi that you can access because we believe that our students also have to be remain connected. And when you look at, at, at at the moment where everyone is battling with the pandemic, how the university is responding to assist our students is quite amazing because each and every lecture provides support to our students to ensure that they become connected with the uh, educational platforms that the university provide, which currently uh, the university is offering uh, uh, lecturing through our platform that we call eTutor, and each and every student have access to this uh, platform. And students that are staying off uh, our accredited accommodations that are also provided with data, which they don't pay for, we, to ensure that also they are co uh, accommodated and then don't remain uh, behind when it comes to their their studies. And when also when it comes to our on-campus uh, uh, accommodation, it also offers a full uh, services from your full Wi-Fi. Uh, we can talk about your outdoor gym um, uh, facilities as well to ensure that our student also remains healthy while they're within the university and also to ensure that they continue their uh, studies without any complications that they may face. But then also, why South Africa so much? Uh, South Africa, I can say, is very popular for soccer and also rugby. And also, it remains the first country and the uh, only country in Africa to host the World Cup. And I can say the tourism when it comes to South Africa is quite amazing. And if you are a student that loves 
to 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 bring your adventurous element with your uh, your curriculum within the university south africa gives you that we have hosted over uh, over 16 million uh, tourists that we can say that uh, this uh, amount is continuously increasing uh, within the next coming years but uh, due to covid-19 it has went down but we believe that post this pandemic we can expect more tourists to come to south africa so it makes south africa one of the destinations that one would definitely want to be part of when they think of furthering their studies. We also have um, a, a center for global engagement that I said is formerly known as an international office. This is a, a, a unit that aims to, to, to grow the internationalization, the internationalization aspect as CUT. And through our global engagement strategy, we continue to reach out to our students and our academics to ensure that we create that cross-border partnerships to better and also to, uh, uh, to, to capacitate our students and also our staff when it comes to the internationalization and aspect. And I can say that this is also contributing to our, 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 our vision of becoming an, a leading university of technology through innovation and also participating in uh, global markets. So the Center for Global Engagement is a center that is always available with the open door policy to support all international students and also to support all internationalization uh, initiatives within um, the university. And at the current moment, we have over 63 international uh, uh, academic partnerships where we use these different partnerships for opportunities also that we offer to our students from exchange programs where we uh, uh, expose our students to study in foreign countries, uh, in Europe, in uh, South America and different countries where we have uh, uh, partnerships. So these are the opportunities that we offer to our students and we also run some EU funded projects uh, with the aim also to contribute to the changing environment and also uh, preparing our students to become globally competent uh, citizens. Then we have a student organization that is more driven, uh, inter, uh, in, uh, student driven, that we call the International Student Association. So, in order for us to support our students, we we do through this structure of the International Student Association, and we are joined by by our our uh, international international uh, student association deputy chairperson who is also a, a phd candidate at cut so i'm going to hand over to her just to share her experience as the international student and also what uh, the international student association can do or can assist you as the international student at cut uh, over to you uh, digit Good evening, everyone. That's great. Good evening, is it? As, uh, Mr. Yes, as Mr. Ramaji has already said, I'm an international student at CUT. This is my fifth year with the institution, so you can imagine why I don't want to leave. I started my undergraduate day, and after that, I did my master's, and now I'm currently doing my PhD with the institution. And um, I started being a member of the International Student Association this year. Uh, I currently hold the portfolio of the deputy chairperson. And what the International Student Association does is to basically integrate international students into the academic and student community within CUT. And this not only assists students with their academic life, but with their social life as well. You can imagine coming from a foreign country and you get there, you don't know anyone. It might become a bit um, damning or a bit depressing at times. So what the International Student uh, Association does is at the beginning of every year, we have a welcome function where we get to introduce ourselves to other international students so that we're able to make uh, both academic and social connections that is outside the 
local or the South African community. That's number one. Number two, uh, what the association does is to help um, it, it, it's to help you navigate your way through the institution and um, Bloemfontein as well, or Velkom if you're at the Velkom campus. What that simply means is if you don't know where to go for anything, the International Student Association is there to help guide you. If you're having trouble with anything within the institution, be it um, academic, be it social, or you just feel a bit lost generally, that's what the International Student Association is about. Um, I was also uh, tasked with talking about my experience at CUT as an international student or as a foreign student. Um, I'm from Lesotho, so going to Bloemfontein for me wasn't that different, wasn't that difficult in terms of language because we basically speak the same language. I think well, the only thing that was a bit different is the environment and the way of living. It was slightly different. But then when I got to CUT, I didn't feel I didn't feel left out. I didn't feel discriminated in any type of way. I was actually very welcomed. Um, the international office or CGE as it's now known has facilitated a lot of things for me to be able to maneuver my way around the institution, um, starting from my applications and registration and assisting with um, communication with lecturers or being a liaison in terms of um, modules that I can do. And um, there's the issue of immigration as well. They also assisted with that in terms of me getting my study permit. Um, what else? Socially, within the institution, I managed to make a lot of social connections or I can just simply call them friends. And most of them are international students. I don't know if that's fortunate or unfortunate because I think going to a foreign country, you look to meet and mingle with um, the local people who are very welcome, I must say. Um, some people, especially from Central Africa or other parts of Africa, have asked before if there's issues of xenophobia in CUT, which is a reality of things that sometimes happen. I've never experienced it. I've never heard of someone say I was um, somewhat discriminated because I'm a foreign person or I'm a foreign student. And if ever such things happen, we have the International Student Association or the International Office where you can go and report such, such cases. And I'm definitely sure they assist, even though it's something that has never, like, ever, ever happened. Um, yeah, that's it on the social aspect. And then academically, um, in terms of performing and in terms of communication with lecturers, it's the same for everyone. You won't be treated differently because you're a foreign student. It's the same for everyone. You're given the same opportunities to excel just as their local students. And I saw in the chat room, there's one person who asked about funding for research. Yes, the institution does offer funding for research. That's the nicest thing about it. Um, I'm one of the foreign students who receive um, research funding from the institution, and that includes living expenses, research expenses, and your tuition fee. So all you have to do is to make sure that you have good grades. Uh, they usually ask for a 65% and above, then you can definitely qualify for research funding. And then also the university provides opportunities for postgraduate students to lecture within the institution. It's sort of like promoting their own people. So as a foreign student, you can also apply for such opportunities. And in cases where you experience challenges in, with uh, things like uh, maybe a work visa or 
HR giving you challenges, you can always go to the international office and they'll assist. I'm one person who experienced that. Um, the HR department had a bit of um, a misunderstanding in terms of me working as a foreign student within the institution. And personally, Mr. Ramajo did step in. So if you do decide to come to CUT, which I hope you do, uh, it, it will be exp an experience worth having. That's all I can say. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Digit. Uh, I think you have got, uh, you have said quite a mouthful uh, experience uh, as an international student and also uh, uh, the deputy chairperson of the International Student Association. Uh, coming to the end of my presentation, it's always important to connect uh, with uh, everyone when it comes to uh, uh, contacts. So we are open for you to contact us. Uh, my email is on top as ramajacut.ac.za. We also have our deputy director, International Student Support Services, who you can easily contact via email for any also challenges that you may face when it comes to your application. And we also have the coordinator, uh, who has also joined us here in this session, the coordinator for International uh, Student Support Services, who you can also reach out if you are facing any challenges regarding your application as CUT. And I can say we are committed to assist you throughout the application process and also throughout your study period at CUT. So I, like I said at the beginning of the session, I'm free to call you prospective CUT students and we are looking forward to receive your applications at CUT and also support you throughout your journey at CUT. So thank you so much for your time. And also we look forward for further questions that you may ask. I think um, my colleague uh, from the International Student Association has also answered one question, but I would definitely be looking forward to take more questions from you. Thank you so much. Great, thank you Stone for a brilliant presentation and, and thank you to your students who also helped out to give us some information. Um, we're gonna move over to the questions now. So I will ask you, uh, I think one of the questions that you said has been answered about funding. So we have done that one, which is great. Um, how safe is it to travel and work in South Africa after my studies? Awesome, awesome, good question. Uh, when it comes to coming, uh, when it comes to uh, traveling to South Africa, I can say it's always safe to travel to South Africa. There's no uh, any challenge one who have experience when it comes to traveling to South Africa. But then when, when it comes to working in South Africa, you just have to ensure that you have got a job offer in South Africa or you are open to apply for, for different jobs that are available in South Africa. And with our foreign uh, students, we always advise them also to look at the critical skills list because uh, the governments of South Africa often release a list of critical skills where they are open to take uh, foreign uh, uh, qualified people. So if our students now have completed their qualification as CUT and now they want to work as CUT and also they, I mean, want to work in South Africa and they fall within the critical skills list, they have the right or they have they, they qualify to apply for a critical skills visa that would definitely allow them to work in the country. So the country also offers opportunities for qualified individuals regardless where they come from. Okay, thank you. Um, Stone, that was a great uh, informational for the question. The next question that we have actually is kind of a two-parter. Um, do you assist in terms of follow-ups to speed up the South African Qualifications Authority application? Uh, what we do, uh, we do assist the students with the follow-up once they have submitted their application within the university. So what we would advise the student is to log in the application within the institution with either what they have received from SACA at the moment, and then definitely they would uh, communicate with our office to try and see how they can be assisted when it comes to making the follow-up with either SACA or HESA for their matriculation board uh, evaluation. So we do give an, a continuous support to anybody who has started the application at CUT and also for those who also intend 
to study a CUT for any qualification, I mean, any application inquiries, they can feel free to direct them um, to the, our, our office. And also, uh, I see there's a question that, do we assist with a uh, visa application? What we do, like I said, once you have applied a CUT and you have been granted um, uh, an admission, we do give you some assistance when it comes to the guidelines of how to apply for your visa. And definitely the office would offer you a letter of admission that helps you to apply for the visa. And once you produce that letter at the embassy or wherever you apply for your visa, definitely you'd be given some more requirements of what is expected from you in order for you to be granted a visa. And also when it comes to applying for a medical aid, uh, which we also give uh, assistance with. And we do give students different recommendations when it comes to the medical aid that they should use as students that will be studying a CUT. And also we give that continuous support. Even once you're a student, when it comes to you accessing different doctors, you able to use your medical aid where um, effectively and efficiently as well. So the, the continuous support that we give to our student is just making them uh, without, you can leave them without any hassles when it comes to their studies. Okay, great. And do you have any advice for students who will be applying this year? The advice that I can give the students is to apply as early as they can. Like I said, they are more than welcome to launch the application, which is free. And with any challenges that may arise, that they face when it comes to some of the evaluated uh, certificates. Now they're more than welcome to contact our office so that we can assist them while the application is already within the, the application process. It would be a bit tricky to assist someone with the application before they apply. But once they apply, it's easy to make a quick reference and assist the student to ensure that the application is completed until they have been admitted and then we can offer the letter of acceptance so that they can start applying for their visa. And often what happens with uh, some visa, they would be delayed by getting their visas. And we're also open for students to engage with us as early as they can when it comes to their visas being delayed so that we can make and try and see if we can make provisions for them to ensure that they can easily or smoothly register and then later submit um, their, 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 their visas once they have, they have received it. But we always make this with great caution to ensure that we don't break any uh, laws when it comes to compliance with uh, um, your studies at CUT. Okay, great. Thank you so much for the answers and the questions from all of you. It's been really, really helpful. Um, I think one, oh, the, the, the student has said, thank you for clearly answering my question, which is great to see. Um, if you do have any other questions, please do send them through. If not, we will get put you in touch with CUT directly and they will be able to answer these questions for you throughout the year and throughout your application. Um, any last words from you, Stone? Any last words uh, from me, uh, Steve, like I said, I would like to also admire the courage that the students have taken to join this, uh, this webinar. It may not be easy in this uh, pandemic that we are currently, currently battling with, but uh, taking charge of your, your, your next destiny, where you want to see, where you want to see yourself uh, at, it takes uh, some, some quite good resilience to do that. And I wish them all the best with their application and we are looking forward to accept that application and also assist them. So they shouldn't feel any, 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 any challenge when it comes to applying a CUT. They shouldn't feel any worries with contacting us like I said, we have got an open door policy even once they are student at CUT, so they can start their life at CUT in Bloemfontein or either in Welcome Campus. But I can say South Africa gives them that great opportunity to feel in love with nature, to get the wildlife experience, and to ensure that they get qualifications that are internationally recognized, and they can also use them anywhere across the continent and also around the globe. So thank you so much for joining, and also all the best with your studies, those ones who are completing their studies, till we meet again on the crowns of CUT. For now, your prospective 
CUT students, I'll meet you as CUT students by the time uh, you have already been admitted. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Stone, for a brilliant presentation. Thank you for attending. And of course, thank you for your questions. It has been a pleasure. Um, any other questions, like I said, they will be in touch with you and they will be um, sending you any answers that you need. For those of you who are watching this on a recording, um, we will be able to answer your questions as well. If you wanted to send them through, please do. And we are always here to help. Um, do not forget to go onto the viva-mondo.com um, site and sign up to our newsletter for more information about international studies. Um, and we will see you at the next webinar. Thank you, everybody. Thank you bye -bye. so much. Bye.